back with you, Pastor Casper, your lion-hearted host. Look, um, as a pastor, part of my job is to help equip the saints, and that means helping you understand the gospel, which means good news, so that you'll go and share Christ's love in this fallen world. And it tells us in um, Ephesians 4.11, he gave some apostles and some prophets and some evangelists and some pastors and teachers. For what reason? For the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry, for the edifying the body of Christ. So we're all in this together. And by the way, you know, apostles and prophets are in the same sentence. So they, they didn't like die off or anything. God's still making them. So, I'm going to try to share some information as I'm able. So you're able to hopefully understand how much your thoughts actually affects you I, I want you to this you know understand step by step how your your thoughts lead to certain hormonal chemical reactions um in your body that will ultimately lead you into a place of health and happiness peace and joy in the holy ghost or you know it could bring you to a place of sicknesses and a disease we we don't want to see that develop so um understanding this i've wrote about this pretty extensively in like my books like what was I thinking, which has a workbook now as well, so you can do home uh, Bible studies and stuff at church. Um, but understand this is going to help you fight the good fight of faith and help you recover yourselves so you can go and help others. As an ambassador of Christ, you know, you want to help others, right? So according to the Word of God, which only speaks the truth, it's like your own thoughts can perform surgery on your brain better than any skilled neurosurgeon could ever do so there's all another important reason why you want to stay away from the transhumanist and the brain chips that they want to implant okay that's i digress already look in the second timothy 224 this says a servant of the lord must not strive but be gentle unto all men apt to teach patient in meekness instructing those that oppose themselves it is christians opposing themselves if God preventures, that means there's going to be a miracle when that happens, right? If God preventures, will give them repentance to the acknowledging the truth and that they may recover themselves out of the snare of the devil who've taken, are taken captive by him at his will. So the devil's got people in certain areas of life, you know, they're coming to the church on, on the weekends and, and the worshiping, but, you know, who knows what was going on the night before? You know, he's in the same hands as the worship and, you know, just saying, you want to get every part of your life lining up with the Word of God, right? So, look, to win any war, any battle, every good war strategist knows that you need to understand what your enemy knows about you so you can defeat them at the onset. So let's not continue to perish from lack of knowledge of any longer or purposely stay ignorant and suffer from sicknesses and diseases and other kind of dysfunctions in your life. Let's do what we can do and help you enable, you know, so you won't die. You'll live and, 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 and proclaim the gospel. Look, in the past 25 years or so, the scientific community's come along now and they understand the link between your thoughts and effects on your body. In much the same way, like, think about this doctors recommended smoking cigarettes in times past to try and calm your nerves. That's what they said anyways, right? From the 1930s to the 1950s, the advertisement companies devised a very powerful phrase, doctors recommend. And they sold it to the public, altering the way people perceived a deadly consumer product. Smokers still would cough, but the doctors, or rather the actors dressed as doctors, in white coats would explain it, it was due to the dust and assorted, you know, uh, germs, uh, dust mites. Uh, yeah, if you're going to believe that, I know a man that can sell you a share in, in London Bridge. <laughs> so, <laughs> and, you know, a common belief back then, too, was that uh, if the brain got damaged, um, it, it couldn't be repaired. And it was also assumed that you're, you're born with your present level of intelligence and that the brain deteriorates throughout your adult life as you age. And it was also thought that our fate is predetermined by your genes. Remember, these are designer genes. He designed them. So what a surprise. I mean, here's a poke at you. You're going to choke out a tune. You're going to lose that smile. Because all the while, I can see for miles and miles. Okay, 
Um, oh yeah. So because of these ideas, like these faulty theories and philosophies that circulate the world with, with incorrect conclusions, just like the doctor said, smoking is good for you and helps calm your nerves. It's just some more fake news. I mean, you know, it's the devil's been behind fake news for a long time. So research is showing, look in the neurosciences, um, the new technologies, new discoveries that line up with the principles of God's holy word. In fact, all things are possible with God. So my prayer is, is to help bring a message of blessed hope and encouragement, no matter what your circumstances are today, God has an answer for you, right? Looking for that blessed hope, the glorious appearing of a great God, our Savior, Jesus Christ, who gave himself for us that he might redeem us from all iniquity and purify unto himself a peculiar people, zealous of good works, okay? So uh, no matter how peculiar you are, um, in fact, <laughs> I like being peculiar. I mean, it's the word of God, right? I'm just doing it. Um, it's a fact. Look, the Lord designed you with an absolutely brilliant, amazing, astounding brain. Let's learn to use it properly, studying the owner's manual, our holy guidebook to the supernatural. So like the science of epigenetic research reveals that our, our thoughts and perceptions remodel our genes and not the other way around. So just as God told us thousands of years ago, as a man think in his heart, so he is. So the science of epigenetics is showing you know, the, the power of our thought life and how it greatly affects who we are and what we're going to become. So what a phenomenal discovery to learn that your genes can get switched on and, and turned off by your thoughts that you choose to meditate on. That's again why the Holy Scriptures instruct us, like in uh, 2 Corinthians 10, 5, take every thought captive to the obedience of Christ, right? If you don't, they're going to take you, and it's not going to be a pretty picture that way. So, I mean, you got like 30,000, 70,000 thoughts a day. You, you got to start working on this thing. Just like you learn to practice an instrument or do a sport, you know, the more you practice it, the better you'll get at it. So the research is, you know, now disproved the myth that your genes shape us and clearly we're able to see our thoughts affect which genes are switched on and off. I mean, this thing's all mapped out now. You have no idea how developed this is actually at the moment. Look, so, look, this means that we're not victims of our biology uh, and the implication is obvious that we need to start taking responsibility for our choices for our health and uh, we no longer have the excuse to simply lay down submit to sicknesses and diseases because we can absolutely do something about it we have the word of god we can overcome it so put down that sugary junk food right now let's get some exercise get into the river life right it's not so much what you eat rather it's what's eating you but let's you know at least eat what god Provide it, you know, not the genetically modified organisms, including the false teachings and genetically modified organizations like, you know, teaching the, the superficial seeker friendly thing. Seek instead the true power with supernatural signs and wonders, following those that deny themselves, pick up the cross and follow off to Christ. Amen. So, look, you can't always control the circumstances in this world and the circumstances in your life, but you can control how it affects you and your brain by changing the way you react to those circumstances you know getting the proper perspective the perception of, of, of a godly perspective um, as a child of god let's act like one all the time amen okay look it says in hosea 4 6 it talks about god's people being destroyed for lack of knowledge you don't want to do that we want to get some knowledge so you can understand and be blessed you know god said these people are dying, perishing from lack of knowledge, meaning they're literally just dying off here. Um, and they're not using their brains correctly. They, 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 you know, that's why they call it television programming, right? Considering 87 to 95% of sickness and diseases is a result of our thought life, if you want to change stuff that's going on in your life, you're going to have to change, you know, the way you're thinking about it. Put on the mind of Christ and he'll direct you. Satan knows that... You know, mind, body, connections, soul, spirit, it's very real. And if you can manage and control your thought life through your imaginations, he can control your body chemistry and destroy you. You know, if demons can get you to entertain them and, and merge with your thinking, with their thinking, you know, like a spirit of fear, a, a, what's going to happen next in the future, bitterness against somebody, 
He's, he builds up strongholds and it causes diseases to happen. Only you can control your thought life. God isn't going to do that for you. That's your part. With God, all things are possible. Fight back, overcomers. Trust upon God for every detail. Stay in faith because all things are possible with God. So I pray right now that God's supernatural peace, healing, provision, protection cover you with oceans of agape love in the almighty name of Jesus Christ and Israel. Amen.